Good afternoon. Welcome back to Portimao, Portugal. This is the opening round of the European KF and KF Junior Championships. We are just moments away from our first final of the afternoon. As you can see on the screen, it is for the KF Junior category. 63 drivers become 34 and following a pre-final, we are getting set to go for our 17 lap 26 kilometer final here at this magnificent Portimao circuit here in the Algarve region of Portugal. Five minutes away from a start. Well, it's been a relatively eventful weekend so far. A lot of drivers that we wouldn't have expected, and I say this respectfully, to be at the front of the times in both categories have been, and some big names are further back in the pack. The drivers on the front, they are not there by default. We'll go through the grid for you shortly. We had a great pre-final early this morning, and despite from a couple of incidents, pretty conservative races. Now, that on screen is a fair indicator of the big talking point here in Portimao, the breeze, the wind. It has picked up quite dramatically. We already spoke about the slipstream at this circuit being worth up to five, possibly even six kilometres an hour. That's directly from the data logging technicians working for the teams here this weekend. Normally you might pick up two, maybe three k's an hour. In Portimao, double it. Phenomenal speeds here for these junior drivers, 137 kilometres an hour. The KF senior carts, they're topping 140, 141, almost 142 kilometres an hour. The sun is shining. It's a beautiful day here in Portimao. We're at the southern tip of the Iberian Peninsula. Less than five minutes away from a start. The first round of this three-round championship, the European Championship for the KF Junior Class. Last year, it was won by the Brit, Enam Ahmed, racing for the Ricky Flynn Motorsport team. We have a look at the impressive young Indonesian Perdana Minang. You can see he's driving a Tony Kart for the Kartronics International team. He starts out of grid two. He had a fantastic pre final, came from the fifth row, grid 10, picked them off one by one. Couldn't catch this guy though. Kenny Rusens from Belgium, he's been brilliant. Driving a cosmic cart for the VDK racing team, you can see on screen. That's if you're not distracted by the beautiful grid girls here in Portugal. We thought we were spoiled in Italy. Wow. But the grid girls, as you can see, they're not holding up the umbrellas because that's how windy it is. Christian Lungard from Denmark starts on the third row of the grid. So the grid girls now, sadly, leave the circuit. We're a few moments away from the start of this race. That's the scene here in Portimao. Of course, Portugal, a long and strong motorsport history and tradition. We go back to 1979, the Estoril Formula One circuit. It became a kart circuit almost 30, well, more than 30 years ago. It hosted the World Karting Championships. Someone who finished second on that day Went on to make a name for himself. He also spo spoke Portuguese. His name was Ertham. In 2000, the Braga circuit in the north of the country hosted the world title, won by the Brit Colin Brown and David Foray in the Formula A and Super 8 classes, respectively. As we look at the Venezuelan Sebastian Fernandez, as one, as one of the photographers here working for the world's karting media, loses his hat. That's how windy it is. Of course, the World Championships returned to Braga in 2005. On that occasion, the race was won by another Brit, Oliver Oakes. It's a beautiful sunny day here today. We're expecting a top later in the afternoon of around 28 degrees. The one-minute board goes up. The mechanics have evacuated the circuit. This is the opening round of the CIK FIA European Championships. From here, 
the championship heads to the United Kingdom, the PF International Circuit on the 21st of June, before concluding in Kristianstad in Sweden in late July. Sebastian Fernandes slow to get away, but he does get that expiry cart fired up as the field raced down for the first of their two expected formation laps. As we look at the grid, Kenny Rusin's on pole from the Indonesian Pardana Minang. Then it's Lungard and the Brit Teddy Wilson, Kushmani, Sebastian Fernandez, Clement Novalak, recently crowned Super Masters Series champion. Starts out of the fourth row of the grid alongside Presley Martono. Look back in the field, grid number 20, the flying Brazilian Felipe Drugovic. He is alongside the Brit Alex Quinn. Logan Sargent, he's had a wretched weekend. He's down in grid number 24. Don't write off the American, though. He starts one row ahead of Marta Garcia. On the back of the grid, Antonio Cervalli did not complete a lap of the pre-final. A big job for the Canadian from Toronto. Starting out of grid 34, ahead of him, is the young Australian Oscar Piastri, who's driven really well this weekend, qualified 16th out of 63 drivers. He's got that Parallela-powered Cosmic Kart working. A lot of work to do for Oscar from grid number 32, considering the field that's in front of him. So your pole sitter, Kenny Rusens, will slow the field down imminently. So they go through the infield part of this Portimao circuit. Now down into the Energy Sparco hairpin. There's Pardana Minang from Jakarta in the black Cartronics Tony car on the outside of the front row. Christian Lungard in the Tony car with the orange helmet from Denmark. Teddy Wilson, number 259 for Forza Racing. The driver, the team from the United Kingdom. Presley Martono. Watch out for the other Indonesian. There he is, driving for Team Baby Race. This is the final corner. We may, in fact, get a start this time round. I'm looking at the race director, Mr. Nigel Edwards. He seems happy. But not happy enough because we will have one more formation lap. That's the Autodromo Algarve Internacional in the background. Host circuit to the World Superbike Championship this year, as well as a round of the Blancpain GT Series, I believe. Magnificent complex here in the south of Portugal. A truly world-class motorsport facility. This 1,531 metre cart circuit but we will speak about the track length. It's not the longest variation. There is a longer version. Thankfully, we're not using that because if they did, the carts would almost be out of sight. That's how big the complex is here in Portimao. Let's try again. Kenny Rusens, VDK Racing, pole position from Belgium alongside the Indonesian Perdang, Perdana Minang. Cosmic versus Tony Kart. In fact, we have to go back to grid number 12 to find a non-OTK car. That's David Videlis in the energy for red lights. They go out this time, and it is indeed Kenny Rusens leading them down into turn number one. The field bunch up a little bit in the midfield. Kenny Rusens, nice start. Christian Lungard, the Dane, straight up in position number two. Pardani Minang has lost out badly. He's back in seventh place, the Indonesian driver. This is the opening lap of 17. The first round, the first final of the 2015 championship. Look how close Lungard is to the back of Rusens. Rusens covers his line. He holds the lead. This is the first lap. The first time down into the Energy Sparco hairpin. Watch Lungard. Will he make a move this time? He thought about it. Kenny Rusens knew he was there. Blocked his line. Defensive, defensive from the Belgian. 
His problem is he's going to give the slipstream advantage to Christian Lungard behind him across the line for the first time. It's Cosmic versus Tony Cart. Lungard is in the slipstream. Let's see if he can make a move into turn number two. Not this time. Good drive off the corner by Kenny Roosens to hold out the Dane Cushmane. Brilliant up into position number three. The Indian driver came from the third row of the grid, in fact, for Forza Racing. Clement Novalak. The British driver, born in Switzerland, he is now in fourth place. One ahead of Teddy Wilson and Sebastian Fernandez, the Venezuelan in position number six. Well, the front three starting to pull away a little bit. Now the race is settling down. Kenny Rusens looks behind him. Lungard is still there. Lap number two of 17. Great start by Oscar Piastri. He's already made up 10 spots on the opening lap of the race. It's Kushmane wrestles that Tony Kart through the final turn onto the start-finish straight. Lungard is out of the slipstream of Rusens. The Belgian has got a point four of a second lead over Christian Lungard. Lungard, after a great start, he's going to come under attack imminently by the flying Indian Kushmane. Clement Novalak. Holds off Teddy Wilson, his countryman, for fourth. Fernandez, David Vidalis, the first non-OTK car. The energy car driver from Spain, now up into position number seven from 12th off the start. He's passed the other Indonesian driver, Presley Martono. The impressive young Brazilian, Caio Colette. And Semi Taufuk, rounding out the top ten. That's the battle for a second back to all the way back to 14th, in fact. Kushmane goes through. Well, Rusens has broken the slipstream, all right. It was 0.4 of a second last time round. He's put four tenths of a second on Lungard. The gap almost out to one second. It's 0.824 between your race leader, Kenny Rusens, Christian Lungard, and Kushmane. So it's the Cosmic Kart from VDK Racing leading the Ward Racing Tony Kart and then the Forza Racing Tony Kart. Teddy Wilson also with Forza Racing, making the switch just days, almost literally before the opening round of the European Championships. Brilliant start by the American Logan Sargent. We mentioned he's not had a good weekend, qualified way down the field in position number 46. He started this final back on grid number 25, but I can tell you the driver from the United States is now in position number 15. Kushmane tries to tuck into the slipstream of Christian Lungard down into turn number two. Just flicks it sideways ever so gently. Kenny Roosens walking away with this. The gap is now 1.1 seconds. He is three tenths of a second faster than every other driver on the circuit. 58.840, fastest lap of the race. This driver on, on screen, Christian Lungard, a 59.1. And Lungard is no slouch, let me tell you. Winner of several WSK races earlier in the year. Kushmane, he wrapped up the Andrea Marguti trophy in much, much cooler conditions than this in March of this year at the South Garda circuit in Italy. Just lets that Tony Kart rides the bumps a little bit sideways on the exit that time from Maney. He knows it too. He just drifted wide, tucks down behind the steering wheel. Teddy Wilson goes through. David Vidales, well, he might be the only non-OTK kart, but the Spanish driver is now up into position number five. The energy cart pilot is now lapping faster than almost everybody on the fact, on the track, in fact, except with Kenny Rusens going one tenth of a second faster. He's done the fastest lap of the race. He's walking away with this. Look at the lead he's got. Kenny Rusens, 1.4 seconds back to Lungard. The Dane on screen now. He's got second place under control. Kushmane is starting to drift. 0.3 of a second back to the Indian from Bangalore. Spends most of his time in the United Kingdom.
fourth place, Teddy Wilson. There's your race leader, Kenny Rusens. Kale Collette, fastest lap of the race. He actually sat on pole position provisionally for much of Friday's qualifying session from Sao Paulo in Brazil. He was only just pipped at the end of the session. He's in fifth place at the moment. Set the fastest lap of the race. Kenny Rusens with this one under control as the field starts to spread out a little bit. Ten laps to go at the end of this one. Pushmaney going through. He's out of the slipstream of Christian Lungard. He can't get an aerodynamic advantage. He's too far back. Kale Collette is charging. He's now up into position number four. Fastest lap of the race for the Cosmic Kart driver from Brazil. He's going to be on the tail of these drivers and looking at a podium. He's got the time to do it. Ten laps remaining. The gap between Kale Collette... And the third place driver, Kushmani, is just under a second. There's Lungard. Kushmani can't make inroads, but the driver who's getting bigger and bigger behind them is Kale Collette in the Cosmic Cart. There he is, just flashing through at the back of the screen. He's dragging Teddy Wilson along for the ride. Kushmane, he seems to be struggling with that final corner of the lap each time round. That's where he loses time to Lungard. Kenny Rusens down into turn number one, sits very low in the cart. He doesn't need the slipstream advantage. You can barely see over the steering wheel. Beautifully set up team or cart by the VDK racing team. Gorilla powered Cosmic, as you can see. All the drivers in the junior category using the French Leconte tyre. Hardly works the steering wheel at all. Super, super smooth. You can see the black rubber line going down here on the Portimao circuit. 1,531 metres, but the drivers will actually go about 50 metres further than that each lap. They actually cover about 1,580 metres each time round, taking the ideal racing line parts of the track out to 10 metres wide, including this, the main straight. We are past half, half race distance. The gap from your leader, Rusens, to Lungard is 2.6 seconds. There's David Vidales flying through in the energy cart. He's ahead of Presley Martono. Clement Novelak drifting back into position number eight. Presley Martono, the Indonesian, he's got clear air in front and behind him, holding, set, holding down seventh spot. Oscar Piastri is driving a brilliant race. He is coming from the back of the grid. He's now up into position number 15. He's behind the Swede, Isaac Blomquist, as Kale Collette is now right on the tail of the Indian driver, Kushmani. This is the corner that Maney's struggling with. Just rides the bumps a little bit. He wasn't too bad that time, but Kale Collette was brilliant. He's in the slipstream now. They go through turn number one. Watch out for the Brazilian. Surely under brakes into turn number two. Can't do it this time. Kushmani holds off Colette. As Rasmus Lind, the Ricardo Kart driver, retires from the race, Colette has got time to get on the podium. It's the Brazilian versus the Indian. This is allowing Christian Lungard to get away. Up the inside, Kyle Colette. Kushmani has to concede the position. He's off the podium as he was doing it. As the Brazilian was passing him, he looked behind him because next in line is Teddy Wilson. His teammate, in fact, the two Forza Racing drivers are fourth and fifth. Kale Collette, we thought, well, can he get up on the podium? He's on the podium. He's now chasing down second spot. Let's have a look at the replay. Kushmani tried to defend, he tried to turn in, 
Give him credit though, he did give him racing room. The Brazilian was unstoppable though. He's got the speed. Last time round was a 58.411. Kenny Rusens at 58.422, best lap of the race so far. Sebastian Fernandez from Venezuela is 13th behind the Chinese driver, Sun Yu Yang. Oscar Piastri's picked up another one. He's ahead of the Brit now in 14th spot. Alex Quinn is 15th. And behind them, Isaac Blomquist. As we focus on the battle for second spot, Christian Lungard's now having to drive defensively. Surely the Brazilian's going to take the Dane, possibly even on this corner. Up the inside, nicely done. K.O. Colette from Sao Paulo, Brazil. Now up into position number two. He started out of grid number 10. Christian Lungard just hangs on to the bottom step of the podium. He's in the slipstream. Can he retaliate? Not this time. Cushman is being drawn back into this fight. Teddy Wilson's not too far behind. We take a look at the replay. Lungard tried to defend. He left it very, very late to take the racing line. Kale Colette said, I don't care how long you're going to take. I'm just going to wait until you move over and then dive up the inside. He did it easily in the end. Kale Colette from grid number 10 from Sao Paulo, Brazil, is now in position number two. Surely he can't catch our leader. Can he? Kenny Rusens has got a 3.9 second lead. Fastest lap of the race is from the Frenchman Charles Milesi. He's driving a factory Tony cart. But he's way, way down the field and effectively out of contention. Perdana Minang is behind his countrymen in eighth spot. Presley Martono in seventh. David Vidalis, there he goes through in the energy cart. The Spaniard is in position number six. As Kushmani up the inside of Christian Lungard. Lungard's off the podium. Can he respond? He looks behind him. Kushmani is back on the bottom step of the podium. This is a brilliant fight for third place. The opening round of the Euro Championships. Kushmani blocks the inside line. Kyle Collette is walking away from this battle and Teddy Wilson is being drawn into it. Kushmani for Forza Racing. Can he take the bottom step of the podium? There are three laps to go at the end of this one. Kenny Rusens has now got a four second lead. Christian Lungard is in a Forza Racing sandwich. This is the corner that Kushmani struggles with. He goes wide. Lungard's in the slipstream. Kushmani blocks the inside. Side by side down into turn number two. It's going to be Teddy Wilson up the inside. Wow, Lungard was looking at third place. He's now back up into fifth. David Vidalis. Oh, he takes the Dane as well. So he just goes from bad to worse for Christian Lungard. He was looking at a podium. David Vidalis now up into fourth spot. This is brilliant racing for the final step of the podium. David Vidalis alongside the Forza Racing driver, Christian Lungard up over the ripple strip. This is brilliant, brilliant stuff. The opening round of the European Championships, that's David Vidalis in the blue energy cart. They come through the final section of the track for the fourth last time. Getting drawn into this battle also is Presley Martono from Indonesia. Can the driver from Jakarta do anything about it? Oh, they touch! Big crash, David. Vidalis is out. It's a huge crash into turn number one. Wow. Inevitably, we almost saw that coming. That was absolutely massive. Kenny Rusens has got a 4.3 second lead, but David Vidales was looking at a podium spot. His race has ended in the wall on the exit of turn number one. Christian Lungard holds on. The double waved yellow flag is out. The race has been neutralized. And with only two laps remaining, I suspect the race is effectively already over. Pardana Minang, you can see he's come back into contention. So the 4.3 second lead that Kenny Rusens had over Kyle Collette will evaporate. It's a double waved yellow flag. They cannot pass. Let's have a look at the replay. 
Vidales up the inside of the Forza Racing Pilot. They touch wheels. This is at more than 130 k's an hour. The Spaniard David Vidales backwards. Oh, how close was the rest of the field, including Presley Martono, to escape through? So this is the final lap of the race, which has been neutralised. Kenny Rusens, his lead has dissipated, but it doesn't matter because they cannot pass. He cannot lose this race. Just spectacular. Teddy Wilson in the Forza Racing Car touches wheels with the airborne Spaniard, David Vidalis, backwards midair over the ripple strip into turn one out of the race, but this is the final lap. No one can beat the Belgian. Kenny Roosens, he doesn't have much of a lead, but he doesn't need it because Kyle Collette cannot legally pass him for the win. The opening round of the European Championships is under race neutralization. He wins it. Kenny Roosens from Kyle Collette and Kush Maney takes the bottom step of the podium. Christian Lungard finishes fourth. He'll be disappointed to be off the podium, but thankful not to be in the back of an ambulance. Ivan Schwetz off the rush, and he came from nowhere. He's finished in fifth ahead of Pardana Minang, Felipe Drogovic, Sun Yu Yang, Clement Novak was ninth, and Alex Quinn rounds out the top ten. What a race. What a finish. Overshadowed somewhat by that spectacular accident with two laps to go. But let's take nothing away from your race winner. And now your new championship leader, provisionally, of course, Kenny Roosens, Cosmic Kart, VDK Racing from Belgium. One of the most sensational finishes we've seen in a long, long time in the CIK European Championships, which is quite remarkable considering the race finished under double waved yellows. Kyle Collette, brilliant drive from grid number 10. He finished in second spot. Kush Maney, the Indian from Bangalore. He was third. Lungard fourth. Head of the Russian Shvetsov. Minang, Felipe Drogovic. Seventh place for his championship. Sun Yu Yang, Clement Novalak, ahead of his countryman, Alex Quinn. Credit also to the Frenchman, Charles Melissi, 11th. And a brilliant drive by Oscar Piastri. Well done, mate. From grid number 32, you finish 12th out of 63 drivers in the European Championships. One ahead of the highly rated Venezuelan Sebastian Fernandez. Logan Sargent came home 17th from the back of the grid. Look at the bottom of the screen there. David Vidales, he was looking at a podium. Now he's looking at the back of an ambulance. He's out in that spectacular crash in turn one with two laps to go with the Brit, Teddy Wilson. Presley Martono, also a casualty of that. Well, that's the scene here. In Portimao, as we try and take a breath. This was the start. Pardana Minang, remember, he started on the outside of the front row of the grid. He would go on to finish in position number six. Kenny Roosens, he was brilliant in the pre-final. He was brilliant in the final. This is as close as the rest of the field would get until the double waved yellow came out. Kyle Collette, brilliant drive from grid number 10 to take the second step of the podium. Christian Lungard from Denmark. Dicing here with the Forza Racing drivers, Teddy Wilson and Kush Maney. They all started to bunch up. It was brilliant, brilliant racing. There's Wilson and Maney. Lungard in a Forza Racing sandwich. Look how far back David Vidalis is at this point. But their dicing allowed the Spaniard to catch up. They were lying astern at this point. David Vidalis temporarily was on the podium. He dove through past Lungard into third spot right there. Teddy Wilson took him back. Christian Lungard over the ripple strip. They were too wide on a part of the circuit where you can't really pass. Then the race really, really came alive. Watch the Spaniard, David Vidalis, in the energy cart. Remember, he came from grid number 12. For a few moments, he was in at third. And then watch this. They clash at more than 100 k's an hour into turn one. Backwards into the wall here in Portimao. 
The race finished under double wave yellows. Your winner, Kenny Rusens from Belgium. Whoa, we'll try and take a breath here. We're going to get underway with the podium presentations in a few moments as the drivers make their way up to the podium. And there we're going to see a very, very delighted Kenny Rusens, Kyle Collette and Cushmany, who's always got a smile on his face anyhow. Stay with us. This is the opening round of the CIK FIA European Karting Championships from Portimao in Portugal. We will have the podium presentation for you in just a few moments. Stay with us.
Wow, what a final that was. We're about to get underway with the official podium presentation for the KF Junior Class, the opening round of the CIK FIA European Championships. In third place, from India, Kushmani! In second place, from Sao Paulo, Brazil, Caio Colette! The winner, the opening round of the European Championships from Belgium, Kenny Lussens! And the winning team from VDK Racing, Mr. Alain Verdaftonk. And now we stand by for the national anthem of Belgium. Ladies and gentlemen, your podium, KFJ, the opening round of the European Championships here in Portimao, Portugal. Now I'd like to call on Mr. Paulo Pinheiro, the CEO, CEO of Park Algar, to present the third place trophy to Kushmani. <laughs> Mr. Manuel Breiner, the president of FPAC, the Federation Portuguese Automobile Club. Present second place to Caio Colette. <laughs> the Honourable Mayor of the City of Portimao, Mrs. Isilda Gomez, to present the trophy to our winner. Let's hear it for Kenny Russons! And also ask Mrs. Ishilda Gomez to present the trophy to the winning team, Mr. Alain Bertafdong from VDK Racing. As the drivers are presented with the flowers. As we all try and get our breath back, we'll move in here for a quick word with third place, Kush Maney. Kush, what a race. What happened on the last lap there? No, it was just uh, lost pace, lap, lap by lap, and just getting caught from the back. Really quick people coming from the back, and uh, last few laps I just had to cover to keep the podium position, otherwise we were gone. Well done, Kush. Third place, the opening round of the Euro Series 2015. Second place, Caio Colette, Sao Paulo, Brazil. Grid number 10, you finished second. Fantastic. Yeah, I have luck in the start and I was fast, I think. But, and we, was good. Well done, Kyle. Kenny Roosens, vous avez gagné. What a race. Uh, yes, uh, this is a really good <laughs> race. <laughs> and uh, thank you to uh, my uh, team, uh, VDK. Très bon. Merci, Kenny Roussens. Your podium, ladies and gentlemen, the opening round of the European Championships. Stay with us, ladies and gentlemen. The KF final coming our way in just a few moments. This is the opening round of the European Karting Championships 2015 from Portimao, Algarve, Portugal. <laughs> 